Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Let's learn more with fun. Today I am going to talk about fixed asset register or property plant and equipment register. Fixed asset register is nothing else. It's, it's a simply a list of fixed assets kept in a business. I'm going to show you a simple format for the fixed asset register, but uh, you may include um, any other items as well. Say basically serial number, unique code. You, every asset we can create a unique code and then description of the asset, purchase date, cost, depreciation and uh, say opening balance of the asset, additions, disposals, closing balance, opening balance of the depreciation, um, uh, depreciation for the year, depreciation, uh, disposals, closing balance and the net book value. This is a simple format of the fixed asset register. Today I want to show you where some people make mistakes when using the fixed asset register. Say after four years, for an example, this particular asset is fully depreciated. I am going to take the example after four years. Right. Say that we are going to purchase another air conditioner on the fifth year uh, for 200,000. Then the depreciation will be 25% uh, of the two will be 25% uh, of the 200,000, 50,000. But some people, what they do is they apply the depreciation percentage on the closing balance, say 450,000. If they use that, then the depreciation amount will be 112,500 instead of the actual depreciation, 50,000. Fixed asset register is always useful because they have taken you a simple example of with one asset. But if when you are having hundreds of assets, uh, you may may not have a proper record of the each and every asset. If you keep a fixed asset register like this, you will be benefited and your organization will be benefited. You won't make mistake on the depreciation calculation. Thank you. I have provided you some information. I believe this information is useful for you. I will meet you in another video later. Thank you.